Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home with Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So you guys, I'm finally sharing an updated flip through of my planner. This is my catch all planner. This has every single thing regarding my life and keeping myself organized all in one planner. So I'm gonna flip through this for you guys today so you can see all of the changes and kind of how I have things structured, especially if you're new here. So let's get into it. First and foremost, let's talk about the cover. Everything that you see here is from Fancy Plants Co. If you're relatively new here, we do have a stationery and planner shop that has everything that you need to build a custom planner that's gonna work for you. So this is one of our new vegan leather covers. It's gorgeous, you guys. I love it. Y'all already know how I feel. It's just amazing and I'm so happy that we are finally now able to have everything that you guys need to build your planner. So you can get leather covers from us, uh, inserts, pens, every single thing that you need. It's a one-stop shop. So look at the texture, you guys. It's just so pretty. And and so this is what I'm currently in now for like the summer season. And then when it gets to the fall season, I'm gonna switch to our other new cover. And so you'll see that sometime later in this um, on this channel when I do my probably my next flip through. So let's go ahead and open it up so you can kind of see how we have things structured on the inside. So on the left side, I have a lot of sticky notes here. So I have our happy mail and appointment sticky notes. And then I also have a ton of transparent sticky notes. These are the gray ones. Ones. and then I have this color as well I use a ton of sticky notes um, as well as this one that has like a little rose sort of header I guess you would say I don't know what like, the exact color would be and then these are our octagon sticky notes transparent as well so I just keep all sticky notes here it's very simple I don't have anything in this pocket and then in this pocket I used to keep my stickers for decorating spreads um, but I since have that somewhere else but if I ever want to add that back here or anything else I have this little folder here um, these do come punched so I do have one in here as well so the spine is punched and you can snap it in and it's just a little zipper pouch that you can use to store pens pencils or anything else you need sticky notes uh, whatever works for you so I just keep that tucked in here so that when I'm ready to use it it's already there so I have our 1.50 discs in clear so these are our crystal clear discs they are beautiful and so my whole setup is very neutral so I have our frosted cover and with our vegan leather covers as you can see it's got two pockets here in the back as well as a pin loop you can easily just slide your planner right on inside of the pocket so you could use it just like this without the leather cover or you could get uh, one of our leather covers if you so choose and you could slide the planner right on in so that way you have a little bit more added protection there and you have a beautiful looking planner cover okay so that's the outside planner um, and then also a little bit about like my basic setup or overview in terms of the cover and the discs all right so when we open up this planner you see my little dashboard here made of sticky notes I showed you guys in a reel how to make these these are from fancy Again, everything's from Fancy Plans Co. So let me stop saying that. Um, so you could get these and then you could get the sticky notes and you can just add it to the dashboard here and it's easy to come in and out. So I just keep this here because again, I told you guys I use a ton of sticky notes. So I like to have them here available to me so that way if I need them, I can pull for them. So we have paper sticky notes and then the rest of these are transparent sticky notes. All right, and then we get to something that's relatively new from our shop. It's this little pocket here that has four different slots um, so you can easily grab your essentials so I have a little washi card there and then I have some of our date dots I have this weekly um, sort of I guess schedule here um, that came free with one of our boxes and then I do have things tucked on the back side and how I do that is I just flip it and then I tuck it right on in so that way I have stuff on the other side as well so 
transparent sticky notes same here and then this came in our budget box as well as this so i just keep these here for a little inspiration and also some different size sticky notes all right and then i have my dashboard here this isn't yet available in the shop but i may add this at some point um i just designed it for me but it's kind of that funky pattern that was in the budget box so i think i'm officially gonna add this to the shop just haven't had a chance to yet um, i have a little quote here on a sticky note that says your attitude determines your direction and then my word of the year is focus this is a little magnetic um, page marker so i just keep that there i just think it flows very well and this is our vellum so this is printed on vellum all right so then we get to table of contents so i have several sections in my planner so let me walk you through those as well so i have inbox calendar school meal plan finances work those are my main first six then i have another six sections here wellness faith then I have family, goals, and lists, okay? I also have some top tabs that break down certain sections. So I've got next month, then I have routines, then I have fitness, and then I might have one more back there. And then I have notes. So that's just filled paper. So you'll see all of that and I'll show you um, kind of where those are positioned in my planner setup once we get to that, to that place in this flip through. All right, so back to table of contents. So I have a little quote there that says this week's affirmation, well, it's an affirmation, I control my own happiness. So I just keep that there, all right? And my table of contents just helps me to see what I have in my planner, because sometimes I forget what section each thing is in. So everything that you see here is available at Fancy Plans Co, including the table of contents, um, everything that you see. The only thing that you won't see is that mine are pre-filled in. I type them in and um, yours won't be. Yours you'll have to write in each thing. So like my inbox is going to have my brain dump and my inbox inserts um, and then my calendar is going to have my year at a glance, my weekly calendar, some trackers, yearly to-do list, next month, daily routines. So I just broke that down from me so that way I can kind of see what I have in each section and that really helps me okay and then we get to the first actual section which is my inbox section again you saw that in the table of contents and within the inbox you'll see my brain dump inserts and my inbox inserts or I do brain dump even though even if it's not a specific insert um, and so this is my to do get it out of my head and onto paper this is from the brain dump inserts that I had done a video on my channel on, so check that out if you're interested and during that video I gave away a free insert I'm not quite sure if it's still available but head over to my blog we have a ton of inserts there that are free all you have to do is become a member there it's free to become a member and then once you sign in you'll see all of the freebies and I'm constantly adding to those and then we'll start to implement freebie Friday again soon y'all I've just been so busy so I haven't been able to keep up with it but I do want to get back into freebie Friday and what that was is just every Friday I would give you guys a freebie and then that would change the next Friday so I do freebie Friday and then I also just do random free inserts okay and they're all on my blog so this was the prompt um, insert section for that particular insert which is called the brain dump inserts so it gives you a list of prompts of things that you can think about to brain dump so like what are your goals are there stressful tasks you're avoiding what does your face schedule look like is there someone you need to follow up with so things like that that help you prompt you to get the stuff out of your head and onto paper so that you can start to schedule some of these things and get them all done okay so this was a great insert so I only had the prompt section of that insert I don't have the brain dump part of that insert um, just because I just don't in this but I, I wanted to keep the prompt um, just for reference all right so then I have my inbox and this is where I come to just dump random things out um, for different parts of my life based on these sections here so all of it goes here and then I start to pick from this list and dump them in the different parts of my planner but this is the first place I come to just dump it out of my head and so that's why it's in this sort of section here um, and I because I consider this my brain dump all right so I got a ton of things here and then once I get them done or at least transfer them over to that section of my planner then I'll check them off done or I'll do now later waiting on something someday or if it's a project I'll check that off so I have a couple of pages of those all right and then we get to my calendar section within my calendar section I have my at-a-glance pages for 2022 so as you can see we had a lot going on this year I can't believe it's already um, 
July. It's almost August, y'all. So I come here and I schedule everything out. I can do that for the year. So like school is getting ready to start back up. So I went ahead and added all of the school events and everything that was on the school calendar, all of the early release days, all of the parent teacher conference days, all of that. I went ahead and added here. And so once I add them here, um, depending on, well, whenever that next month comes up, then I'll go ahead and look at that month and I'll pull those things out and schedule it on the monthly calendar. So anytime something comes up, I'll add it here first, then it goes to my monthly and then it goes to my weekly. Okay. Then I have this little bookmarker here, this little clear bookmarker that gets me here quicker. All right. And then yearly to-do list here. So these are just things that you need to do on a yearly basis, like donate old clothes, um, clean your circuit breaker, inspect your attic, I'll look for termite signs, dryer exhaust, check filters, things like that. That's all on a yearly basis. So I keep that here. All right. And then we get to my calendar section. So this is my monthly calendar for July. So everything is pre-filled in and you guys will notice a theme here. I'm very much a minimal planner now. I do use a lot of sticky notes and I do have color in my planner but I do a lot of pen to paper now and I just feel like it just simplifies things and um and sometimes you know I just don't feel the pressure to keep up with trends and all of the new things um, and everything that I use comes from Fancy Plans Co for the most part and so I don't know I just feel so good with the way I plan now so when it comes to my monthly I fill in what's on my at a glance pages I just showed you I dump that here then I also like to put just some random things I don't want to forget about I pull things from my inbox brain dump section here and put them here um, anything I don't want to forget I put right here even if it's business related because um, I you know that way I don't forget about it like I had a, I have a collab that I'm supposed to be doing with a good friend of mine Gia for marriage and motherhood so I just wanted to put that here so I don't make sure I don't forget it even though it goes in the work section which I do put it there as well so I come here and I fill out all of the standard stuff that I do on a monthly basis that doesn't change and then I'll start to feed in other things all right then we get to the first week. So I use one of our doll kits. We have new doll kits from Fancy Plans Co. And so I use the doll kit and then I use sticky notes and other things as well. Um, when it comes to my week, I do at the top all of my appointments, places I need to go. Um, for the most part, I do add some other things there too. But for the most part, it is like things I need to do or places I need to go. Um, I use the vertical line layout. So this is a great layout because again, at the top, it allows you to be able to put your appointments because there's a blank space here and then it's lined here at the bottom. And because I'm a list maker, I like to have those lines. And so when it comes to structurally how my look, my week usually looks, I usually do my ministry days here and then I'll do some things I need to buy. Then um, I will, I had some things I need to get from Target. So I broke those down and then I'll do reminders here. So that's typically how things look from week to week. Cause as you can see, I kind of did the same thing here. Um, I did my daily cleaning schedule. Um, I tried to color code this week and then I forgot. So then I didn't do the color codes correctly. So I had to scratch that idea. Um, I have, I gave my ministry tracker. I want to implement a word of the week. So I wrote that here, although I didn't write the word in. And then again, reminders. So that's typically how my sidebar looks. And then again, appointments here across the top. Um, so all of these are places I need to go, things I need to do. And then I also put bills here at the top. And then on this first line here, I typically like to do my study schedule, spiritual study schedule for the week. Um, and then in the middle is kind of random stuff. And then at the bottom, I like to do my um, dinner. So that's kind of usually how I structure things. So this is the current week. Again, my ministry tracker, what days I'm going out, what are those hours. Wanted to remind myself to take vitamins, my daily cleaning schedule, anything I need to buy, and then reminders here at the bottom. And then across the week is the same. Um, I did my study schedule at that top line. And then at the bottom, I started to write in our dinners. And that seemed to work for me. Okay, and then I have this another clear section here. And then I have a little thing here to keep myself on track spiritually, pray often, have a routine, things like that. That really helps me. So I just stick it in one of our adhesive pockets. Um, I had a little sticky note to turn in my Pioneer application. And then I had this little card here that came from our budget box with one of the teardrop um Pay, uh, one of the teardrop paper clips. I'm sorry. And then on the back, I have a sticky note so I can write something in if needed. It's already prepared and ready for me. Some reminders and then some weekly tasks that are just routine that I just keep here for reference. And then this is the other half of my spread. Again, all stickers from Fancy Plans Co. Sticky notes from Fancy Plans Co. as well. Um, and that's how this week looks. And y'all, I really, really love this week. It really looks good. All right. So, and then I have 
some remaining inserts here, okay? Then we get to next month. I have a little card here with an adhesive pocket just to stick it in. I haven't used it yet. I just wanted to keep it because it was a freebie and I'm not sure if I'm gonna order them again, so I just kept it in there, all right? These are our frosted um, dividers. We have them in several sizes and we have them in top and side and then we also have clear only inside, okay? Then when it comes to next month, I just have some inserts in here so that I could do some pre-planning if needed. We do also have pre-planning um, uh, inserts that are specifically designed for pre-planning. All right, so the next section is routines, and this is one of my favorite sections. As you can see, it is a top tab, and so was next month. And when we get to routines, this is one of my favorite sections, you guys. I'm, I'm definitely a routine person. I have a little card here that was a freebie that says I'm grateful for. These um, are current freebies. And then inside of here, I just pulled off some sheets from our notepads for habit trackers. So we have these available as notepads, and then you write your habit here. Then we have square little sheets of um, stickers that you can use here that fit perfectly and so that way you can start to track those habits so I have these in here along with um, this is also from a notepad it's just our ruled notepad and so I just stick that in there as well because sometimes I like to pull little sheets like that and stick them in a spread and just pin them there and um, that works for me just to give me a little variation and then also so I can make sure I'm tracking habits, I like to track them in various ways, okay? And so I have that in one of our clear pockets. So in addition to this right here that I showed you, uh, which is a folder or a pouch with a zipper, we also have folders. So these are the folders that are clear. They are double-sided, so as you can see, I've got something on this side too. These are really awesome, very popular in our shop, okay? All right, so just have the sticking the uh, notepad inserts in there and then on the back here this came with our first ever box um we may still have these available and um, they come in different sizes this was a mess up so i just kept it i don't i don't like throwing things away um, especially if i could use them so you, you the purpose of these is to be able to put a sticky note on it with whatever your priorities are your to-do list and um it works so well all right so i just keep that in here for reference this is my study schedule that doesn't change and so I just keep that tucked in there. All right, so moving on to actual routines, you guys. Okay, so don't get overwhelmed by this section because there's a lot, okay? So this is my planner routine. So these are inserts that are available in vellum and printed just like this, except, um, well, everything is typed in just like this. And then in this little side piece right here, you can write in some additional things like monthly. In addition to these, I also have these little um, things that I wanna make sure that I'm uh, doing as well. So I wrote them in here, all right? So this is very, very handy. And then on the back, I have some prompts that remind me to plan for certain things, people I need to call, anniversaries, outings, to-do lists, extracurricular, ministry. So this is my cheat sheet for planning. So I really love this, and so I keep that here at the forefront of my routine section. And then we get to the meat, y'all, okay? Don't get overwhelmed, I know it's a lot. And all I have done several videos breaking down my routine, so I'm not gonna go that in depth into it. You can always watch that video here on my channel, and it'll explain to you how I do my routines. Um, but basically, I typed all of this in. These inserts are available with the subjects here, but you will have to write in whatever your routines are. So just to break down one, so I do morning, afternoon, and evening routines. Those are my main routines. Within these three routines, all of these other routines are inserted in here somewhere. And then I can reference that particular section to see what I'm doing on a particular day. And they're just broken out a little bit more. Okay, so like my morning routine, this is everything I do. And then in the little sidebar here, I'll put how, either how long it'll take me, the time of day that I'm starting it, or the day of week that I want to do that particular routine okay so just on a surface level that's how I do my routines all right so that's that then I have some things that you can track in your planner so I just keep them written down here just for reference like events anniversaries meetings appointments family functions bill due dates expenses contribution savings these are all things that you can track in your planner if you're wondering and you need some ideas so this is great so I just keep that here for reference as well and then y'all we're getting to the school section y'all know school is getting ready to start back up I can't believe summer's almost over y'all and 
so I'm gathering my um, supplies and things that I need for that and then um, just getting my mind frame right and then get digging back into the section and setting some things up so this is the um, page that I always ask for every year it's called an instructional calendar and this breaks down everything that they're doing um, well this is just only for math but I ask for this every single year and this just says like unit one, um, this is what they're doing for unit one. Um, and then this is the first um, nine weeks. This just really helps me. That's the second nine weeks. And then this is the third nine weeks and the fourth nine weeks. So that says everything that they're doing. And so that way I can stay on track with making sure that she's on track with all of this stuff. And so this is something very valuable. And so I try to get one every year. And she normally has really, really good teachers. And so um, I, I communicate very well with the teachers. And I try to, I'm sorry, I'm not laughing because I'm that mom, okay? So I just try to stay on track with all of her stuff. So then I use this every single year. These are half sheets from what you saw that was in my next month section. And so I use these to fill in every single month um, all of the important dates for that particular month. And then I break them down here. So I'll probably end up doing some school planning on my channel soon. And I'll show you exactly how I use these. All right. And then this was her last week or last year's schedule. So I'll have to change this out. I haven't moved it out because I want to remind myself to do the schedule. And this, I like to write in all of the, the things. Once the teacher gives us the packet with all of the details, then I'll come here and I'll schedule it all out here for me for reference. All right. And then these are some things that Addison can do learning wise. And then this is my back to school checklist. So this tells me like um, two months before school, what to do one month before school. So I'm kind of in this phase and this phase, um, not quite yet this phase, but this phase, um, and so this doesn't really change every single year. I'll add to it if I need to. Um, I did a video on my channel with how I decorated all of this, but these inserts are available in the shop as well. And these are just very handy to be able to break things down um, so that you can get all the stuff done for back to school. And I'll be doing a back to school video on my channel as well and sharing with you guys how I prepare for back to school. So kind of like this in action. And then on the back is where you could put your school supply list, your clothing list, and your groceries for that first week. I think it's best to go ahead and just map the groceries out, especially if you're doing school lunches or not school lunches but you're packing lunches you'll want to write in your grocery items so that way you can be ready to go and this little sheet is going to be so handy to get you through that first week of school okay and the prep build up up until that time so this is my rough draft of that and then I went ahead and put it all in there all right then we get to the meal planning section which is one of my favorite sections so I have lunch ideas here and then this is the same as the at a glance pages which I don't often use um, where you can come in and you can plan your meals for the whole entire year for the month or for the week so sometimes I'll write things in and sometimes I don't y'all and then you can write your family favorites on the back we do have a meal planner bundle that has a whole thick stack of meal planning inserts this is the other half of that the first half of that is um, your weekly meals your monthly meal calendar and then it's, it's it starts here with family favorites so these are all of the other inserts that are in that bundle okay so after you get through your monthly and your weekly which I again don't have in here just because I started mapping it out differently and I'll show that to you um, momentarily um, so that's why I don't have those inserts in here but I love that meal planner bundle um, so then family favorites and so this is where you'll come and just write in some things you know your family loves and it makes it easy to plan those meals when you just can't think of anything you can pull from this list all right then I have lunch ideas this I repurposed it it was a different insert probably family favorites and then I just made it lunch ideas so I have um, lunch ideas for myself and then also when I prep lunch for Addison I don't always prep lunch for her I let her take lunch at least one to two times a week and then those other days she does have school lunch all right and then items to keep on hand so this is just tissue paper paper towel soap sanitizer things like that that stay on hand and then I have another page so I can write in some other things if needed then this is how you can plan out your freezer meals and then this is your refrigerator inventory which I need to redo freezer inventory pantry inventory so when you're doing your meal planning and then household inventory then you come here first to see what you have on hand 
and then you're able to pull from this here without having to get up to go to your pantry fridge and freezer all the time as long as you keep up with these and then you can build meals based off of what you have on hand all right and then hits and misses so write items here meals here that you know your family did not like and keep this in your planner so that way you have it for reference and you don't make that meal again if you're like me you like to try things I try a lot of different things so I need to know what they like and what they don't like so that way I don't make that particular meal again okay that's just what works for us then we have shopping list here so I'll pull this out and put it in a weekly to write in my shopping list or in my other section which I'm using now to track meals and meal planning and stuff like that it's actually in a whole different section I do some things here and then some things in the other section. So I'll show that to you again in a minute. All right, so this is my system. I did a video on it, like, so I could explain to you guys my system of meal planning and my process, okay? And then I have some template um, meal planning nights. So like Monday, crock pot, Tuesday, salads, Wednesday, soup, Mexican, Thursday, leftovers, you know. So it's good also to create some templates so that you could just have a schedule, rotation of what you guys are gonna have for dinner. Then I have some recipe cards. And I like to keep these in here so that when I do my meal prep, I go ahead and fill the recipe card out and then I have it in my planner when I get ready to cook. I don't have to look online or anything. I already have it ready to go in my planner and I can make that particular meal. And then I add it to my recipe binder. And that I'm gonna pass down to Addison when she gets older so she'll have all of our family recipes that she can share with her family. All right, and then we get to the financial section. So these are the main financial inserts that I use. I do have a budget planner, which I built, you guys saw, I built it based on our new budget box, which we do still have some of those available in various sizes. So you can build a budget planner that's gonna work for you. And so I do have that budget planner as well, which is a separate planner that I use, but mainly I'm coming here to these inserts. I really like how simple they are. And this is just for my personal budgeting, social media stuff, all things with revenue that comes in from just only at home with Kita Fancy Plans Co stuff is different um, because that's how we pay our bills and things like that. Like that's, that's like our income, income. Although this is income, it's just separated. And so we do that a separate way. This is only just for me personally. All right, so how I so how I use this is that I write in all of my bills, so mainly like credit card bills and things I need to pay. And then I also track my revenue that's coming in from At Home With Kita here at the bottom. So like my YouTube, my Amazon, my blog, my Instagram, um, any brand deals I have, all of that's gonna be tracked here at the bottom. And this just works for me so well, y'all. It's just so simple, okay? And then on the back here, I track all of my credit cards. I write in the um, limit and then I write in how much I owe in gray, I highlight it so that way I know all of my credit cards and then if it doesn't have anything highlighted, I know that it is completely paid off. If it's grayed, then I know that I have to pay something on it. Then I'll also track when I pay something here on the back and then also I'll write it in on the calendar here. So this just works for me. So this is July and then this was June and then I think I purged out some of the other months. Same thing with this so I love these I just keep them in here because they work so well for me but I do have some of the budgeting inserts in here as well so I have the no spin challenge I don't actually I don't think this is a part of the budgeting this is the, this one is a part of the budget um, system that we have available so this is budget challenges so whenever you want to do like a no spin or any sort of challenge you could use these for that then a savings tracker Okay, and then we also have a wish list donation tracker. So all of this was from the budget box and then notes. All right, so I just keep those in there as well. More of those habit trackers here as well, as well as another card and an adhesive pocket that you just stick right on here. Then we get into my work section, okay? My work section is just all over the place sometimes. Like right here, I put a sticky note here with some different colors that I was trying to order from a vendor. I have a vellum here, that's our grid vellum. And then we get to the yearly overview. So these are projects and things that are coming up that I go ahead and pre-plan out and schedule out. And then um, that was for Fancy Plants Co. And then this is for At Home with Kita, so I keep them separate. And then I have my YouTube list of ideas, just video ideas that I want to plan 
and then social post ideas on the back clipped with another magnetic clip there and then this is my main business planner so sometimes I'll pull things from business and put them onto my regular schedule um, but for the most part I'm toggling back and forth and so that's why at the bottom here those uh, clear pages that I showed you I flipped them so that way I could easily get to the sections here at the bottom Okay, so I can easily get back and forth to my regular section and then I can easily get to the week that we're in for my business planner. So that works very well for me to have those there. Okay, so this is my monthly calendar, all of my videos that I want to film and then on the sidebar, just put random things, feature video ideas, brands I want to reach out to and things like that. So I love being I love like having everything all planned out. So again, pen, pen to paper usually is how I plan. Sometimes I even forget to put the date at the bottom or at the top rather, and um, that's okay. I'll go back and put it before I purge them out. By the way, I keep all of my inserts for a year, and then I purge them into another planner at the end of the year. I try to do a flip through of all of that for you guys, and then I purge it out unless it's something special I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to throw it out. It might be a memory that I wrote down or something like that. Then I'll keep it and I'll put it into a special planner okay in terms of how I break this down to do list YouTube my short videos so that's my reels that's my TikToks. that is my um, Pinterest idea pins all of those are considered short videos I only do well, I do about three reels a day two to three reels a day and I repurpose that content on all my channels so that just makes it easy for me y'all to be able to use the same content on all of my platforms. Okay, so short videos and I split that out by Fancy Plans Co and then At Home with Kita. So you see two highlighted here and then I'll break them out and then I'll check them off as I complete them. And then social posts, I do the same thing, FPCO, Fancy Plans Co, my IG and my group. I'll try to plan some things out. Sometimes I'm hit or miss when it comes to planning out photos but I can plan out my reels now, okay? And then At Home With Kita, my IG page and my Facebook page, which I hope you all are a part of. We have a Fancy Plans Co. group where we share lots of inspiration and I share lots of things that are coming up. Um, and then we also have an At Home With Kita fan page, so you can go there and follow me there as well, okay? All of that's linked in the description. All right, and then my Amazon and my lives. So I do shoppable photos. Sometimes I'll go live on Amazon. Anything I need to do with Amazon, whether it be posting a photo on Amazon or brainstorming content or going live on Amazon or live in general on any platform is gonna be here, all right? And then any enrichment things or blog posts. So I'm still learning like to know app. I am on there, but I can't figure it out. So I'm still just trying to learn it. And then I'm learning Illustrator. I wanna add more recipes to my blog. I wanna add more digitals to my blog. I'm working on an ebook. I'm working on a course. I wanna email brands, um, again, my ebook, and then add digital. So all of this is anything that's gonna enrich the business or any blog posts. All right, as you can see, I was feeling myself, and so I decided to use some more stickers from Fancy Plants Co. here. I really love how this turned out. I love a lot of pen, y'all. Pen to paper and just seeing things checked off, it just makes me so happy. So I do a lot of this on a Sunday, mainly just sticker placement and things like that and writing in some things that I know are gonna happen. And then I'll come during the week and kind of plan some more things out. But for the most part, I try to have most of it planned out on a Sunday. So same thing. I track all of those things here and I have a highlighter here at the bottom. And so I use this to write in all of this and then highlight some other things as well. And um, so I love how this turned out also. So this is the week that we're in, all right? And when it comes to what is included in every single week, all right? So I keep this again at the bottom so I could grab and easily get to this section. I always keep things on this little dashboard. Um, again, these are available at Fantasy Plans Co. Because um, I have some video ideas I'm working on and just some different things I'll put here um, just so I can see it in front of me and I don't forget. All right, and then I also keep my current real ideas here um, and things like I purchased all of this from Amazon already and so I just need to film it. If it's not checked off, I need to film it. And so this is where I get my ideas for my reels. Anytime I purchase something that I know I'm gonna use for a reel, then I'll write it here and then I'll go ahead and split it out on the day that I wanna do it and then once I do it, I check it off. So this is by Amazon um, and then this is Home, Fancy Plans Co. And then this is cooking recipes, tips, and then decorating. So I just come here and I dump all of my ideas out. And then I'll just start picking and choosing based on what I want to do for that particular week. I keep it folded like this just because I thought it was cool. 
And, um, and I love this particular insert because I love how it's sectioned at the top like this and it makes it easy for you to be able to plan different things. All right, and then I have a tracker here. This is my Instagram strategy. This is how I grow. Um, Instagram, of course, is social media, meaning that you have to be social, and sometimes that's hard for me, okay? Because it takes up a lot to just do what I do, and then you add the social aspect to it, and that just makes it even tougher for me. So I have to have strategy. So I found a strategy from Brock I think it's Brock Johnson. He's Shalene Johnson's son, and he's awesome. You should definitely follow him on Instagram if you're looking to figure out how to grow on social media. So he shared a strategy, and so I've been trying that, and I've been tracking it, and it's been working very well. So I keep that in here, and I just transfer it to week from week to week. Okay, and then this is a part of that strategy. So I've been writing down all of the channels that I love, or not channels, but social media platforms that I love that are very similar to mine and those are the ones that I've been act and those are the ones that I've been interacting with a lot so I have a ton of them so I'll just go in every single day just to, to, to mention part of the strategy and I'll pick 10 and then I'll interact with their posts but you want it to be genuine so I genuinely find posts that I love and I'll make heartfelt or just sincere comments you know based on what I really feel about that content and so once I do that, um, 10 a day, he says two to three times a day, I don't always do that. Um, then the next day I'll do another 10. And then sometimes I'll add to the list by choosing a new 10. So that's a part of the strategy he mentioned, just to be social and you're interacting with those accounts that are like you. So um, Instagram will push that content to you because it knows you're gonna enjoy it. And then also um, it'll kind of help you grow and gain followers as well. So it's, it's um, a win-win basically okay so again all of my to-do list stuff here YouTube videos here that I'm doing for that week my short videos um, sometimes I'll also write a short video for a particular day and then I'm like you know what? I don't feel like doing that video that day and so I'll do another video throughout the week and then I'll check it off and so you know sometimes I'm I try to structure things in a way to where it's like an Amazon video and then a home video um, I'm trimming kind of down to two reels a day and then a, a photo um, but I'll try to do a home and an Amazon so I don't overload y'all. I really do genuinely love Amazon and everything I share from Amazon, I use. So, you know, just know that as well. Anytime I share something with you, it's because I really, really love it. And then sometimes I'll incorporate a dinner in there as well. So you guys can get a cook, you can get a home, and you can get an Amazon. All right? And so I just, I, that structure seems to work for me. All right, so that's what I keep here, just here, um, inserted in every single week. This is going to travel from week to week. All right, so that's how this week looks, and I really love how that looks. By the way, I use the subject style layout, and I love that layout for this reason because it really just helps you to break out your social media um, so you could even break it out by all the different platforms I've shuffled this around so many times to see what works best for me and I just love how that works all right so I have the rest of the month here of course and then I have some other things that are business related I do also have a full business planner um, but I, I kind of work with this for now because I felt like a business planner was just too much so I only keep in here what I actually need but I do have a business planner that I can refer to for some other things that I've written down over the years as well so I am working on a home management system you guys and it's going to be a whole project and so I started to write in some different inserts and things that I want to include in that system um, and then also these are some hashtags you can use on a weekly basis like Monday make something Monday maker Monday Monday motivation things like that tip Tuesday tutorial Tuesday things like that so this really helps if you're struggling to come up with content ideas um, and hashtags you could do some of like this standard on a weekly basis and that should help all right now these are my real ideas so like asmr cleaning this is everything i could do for that restock videos amazon videos cooking videos home videos so this is just generalized real ideas and this helps me as well and then i'm coming up with a music list i love adding music to reels um i only add them to typically instagram reels um, because you you know you I don't want to say you have to pay for it, but um, even though you get to use music, it's my belief, because based on what I've seen and heard, is that um, Instagram does have to pay for 
you know, copyright and all that with the music. And so they are going to take it from you in some way. I'm a firm believer of that. And that's why sometimes I notice when I use a lot of music, what my money looks like. And then when I don't, what it looks like. So, but I love using music and reels and I think you guys enjoy it more so. So I'm just coming up with a list of artists I like. So that way I can pull from that when um, adding music to reels. All right. Then I have my social stats tracker. I love this. This helps me see my growth. Y'all see back um, last year, 11, eight of, I need to put 2021. So I know that I was at 71,000 followers or subscribers on YouTube y'all. Okay. Seven sixteen of this year, 202 y'all are awesome. And actually I think it's 203 now. So you could really get a chance to see your growth. You know, and if you're tracking other things correctly, you can see in that month, what did I do differently so that I, that way I can make sure that I'm giving you guys the content you want, you know? So I just love this. So even with Instagram, I track it. I put an A for at home with Kita and an F for Fancy Plans Co. Instagram is my toughest platform. I can't catch the algorithm sometimes, so I just do what works for me. And I do what I love and I share content that I love that I think you guys love. I don't really think about followers, although I do have a strategy. I just kind of post y'all. And um, if I grow, I grow. OK, but I do like to track my growth and I do like to at least have a strategy. And then also Facebook, I was at 6,000 on my Facebook group at home with Kita. And now I'm at 39,000 y'all 6,000 likes and likes are different from followers. So I have 6,000 likes and 39,000 followers like crazy. And that's all because of reels. So if you guys are not, or if you're looking for a good strategy with growing follower wise reels, any short videos is what all of the platforms are pushing. They're comp they are competing with TikTok. So short videos are what is going to get you followers, but your regular core longer videos like this is what's going to get you revenue. Okay. Reels don't really pay like that because it's only 60 seconds. Okay. So I love this um, because it just lets you see what your growth has been. TikTok 206 and 11, 20, 2021. Now I'm at 5,800. This has been a challenge platform too. And then Pinterest, I'm growing very, very fast on Pinterest as well. Um, so I love this. I think everybody should have this, especially if you're a social media person. Okay, and then I am working on a brand strategy. I've gotten to work with several brands over the last few months. I worked recently, most recently with um, Sliced. Prior to that, I will work with Target. Y'all, I didn't even mention that to you guys. And I did some UGC sort of content for them. If you don't know what that is, it's user generated content. So it's not a brand deal, meaning that you don't post that stuff on your platform. You film the video and give it to them and they post it on their platform. So I'm trying to get into UGC content too, y'all, because that's like the new thing right now, okay? And so there are several brands I want to work with. So I'm building a list of those brands. And then when I email the brand, I'm going to track it here. And then if I land the brand deal, I'm going to put that date here or more details here if I land them. So I'm just starting this whole process. All of the brands I've worked with, I'm also worked with Cricut. Um, so those are like my big, biggest brand deals. Cricut, Target was my biggest brand deal. And then um, Slice was a great brand deal. Very easy brands to work with. Um, and so those were like dream brand deals and those were all in the last two months and so those are brands that contacted me and um, so I get that often as well um, it's just brands contacting me and then we'll go back and forth and see if you know where it fit all right so I do want to work with some other brands so I'm trying to write that and log that in there all right and then I have some projects coming up for fancy plans code this is where I just write in my ideas all right and the same here and then I'm trying to see if I can show you guys other things because I have like cost breakdowns and stuff like that um, so I may not show you guys all of this stuff and then I also have product launches so this is a insert from our shop where I'll come in if I source something from wherever I source it from I'll go ahead and write it in here and that way I can see what's coming into the shop and then once it arrives I check it off and then I just have this random note paper here this was from the budget box launch and then some random notes from the shop as well and that's it all right then we get to the wellness section I have my blood pressure log here so I can log my blood pressure then we have a self-care routine here this is from the collab I did well not this insert here but this one is from paper panda so we still have a couple of those left maybe um, so this is a whole skincare routine which I did a whole video on my YouTube channel on um, and then skincare products on the back that I love along with the steps for that and then this is a skincare challenge which was all a part of that video so you can check that out if you would like all right then I have a vitamin regimen here 
skincare regimen, which is now on that other page, but I couldn't discard this because I had the vitamin regimen on this side. Then I started writing in some immune building foods and that's all a part of my wellness section. I do have a top tab here for fitness. So when we get to the fitness section, this is now my new kind of meal planner section. I don't put anything on the monthly besides if I'm going to the gym or any workouts I wanna do and y'all can see it's been hit or miss. I just newly implemented these um, this month. So I started here and so that's why you don't see anything else filled out just yet so I'm trying to get back into these um, this is the fitness planner that we have available so it's breakfast snack lunch snack dinner your workouts and your water intake I use some stickers from fancy plants co to decorate the spread of course look in a very simple way and then I added my grocery list here so whenever I do my meal planning and I write in what we're having for dinner in addition to the bottom you guys saw of my regular uh, weekly planner I also come here and plan it out and I start here then I pull only the dinners and I put them on my regular planner section and then this is where I come to write the shopping list for what I need to purchase so when it comes to the meal planner section because I'm doing this now and I probably could put that in the meal planner section I don't I don't know I think it really fits fitness too though is that I sometimes use these inserts and then my family favorites and stuff in here for reference and my recipe cards. Otherwise, I'm coming here to fill in everything and then I'm pulling from here to put in my other section. All right, so this is the fitness planner. All right, and I have August in here as well, as you can see, so I'm prepared for that. Then I also have some exercises. I created this tracker some time ago. These are just sticky notes, and I can pull these and put them in my planner if I would like. Um, so this is great for reference, and then also if you're just looking for ideas for workouts you can do, then you can pull these from here and then put them in that particular place in your planner and then put them back here. All right, I'm gonna have just another blank insert then we get to the face section so I have some scriptures that I want Addison to memorize she has memorized a couple here that I've tracked so far and so I highlight them once she knows them then this is my weekly ministry schedule which I do put on my main weekly spread as well but this is great for reference and then we get to the home section. Within the home section, I just put some info there. I wanted to contact a CPA and a mortgage company, so I just wrote that at the bottom. And then this is from our declutter challenge from the inserts from our home management stationery box, which I still think we have some of those available too. It came with a whole thick set of inserts so that you could do this declutter challenge, but I just kept this page because I do plan on doing this for you guys one day. And, um, or even just pulling, this is kind of where I pull from things to do like organization and stuff when I do reels I'll pull from here but I do eventually want us all to do this together so I'm going to keep this here for reference and then I pulled these inserts from the home management challenge or home organization challenge from a bowl full of lemons I think and so she's got some stuff outlined here um, that you can do as well so I just printed this out and I put it in my planner so it's broken down uh, for different sections of the home like dining room living room and it's by weeks. Linen closet, kids closet, she does this every year. So I just printed that out, okay? And then this is the come clean challenge. Um, all of this stuff is just for reference for me to just be able to keep on track with cleaning the house, okay? Um, so this was my daily schedule. Um, again, this was the CPA, I don't know, I just kept this here when I had this there as well. And then this is my weekly cleaning routine. So um, this is what I do daily, this is what I do weekly, and then this is every single um, room broken down here. Um, but I really love zone cleaning, and so I'm gonna do a full dedicated video about zone cleaning for you guys. You can kind of see how I clean the house because I'm the cleaner here. Okay, we don't have a cleaning service. Hopefully we'll have one at some point in life because I know that would make it easier. Okay, and then these are my project overview pages. We have two different types of project inserts. Um, these are our new ones, and so these are different projects I want to do around the house. Um, you put your tasks here in this section, and then when those tasks are due, if it's in progress, and then whenever it's done. All right, so I love these. You guys know I love doing projects around the house. So I keep several of these in here. All right, and then I also have a folder here, same as what you saw earlier. Within this folder, I have our paint colors. You guys always ask our paint colors. This is our paint colors for the entire house. We use all three colors. Um, so if you're looking, take a screenshot, and that way you'll have them, all right? And this is from Valspar from Lowe's. So I keep that tucked in the pocket here, and then I have some stamps on this side as well, because remember, these pockets are double-sided. All right, and then we get to the family section. 
All right, within the family section, I just had some things I need to buy for um, the family. It's just a running to buy list. Then this is a schedule that I would like to do every single day, especially when school gets back. Um, I love these because you can write in the activity here and then you can write some details here. So like during 7 a.m. when I'm doing my daily text, I also want to pray and take my vitamins. Okay, during the 8 a.m. time when I'm eating, um, I also, I'm not, I'm sorry, not when I'm eating, but at the nine o'clock window when I'm working out, I want to walk. <laughs> you see what I mean? I love these that you can break them out. And then um, during my work windows, Fancy Plants Co. windows, I'm working, I'm filming, editing, uploading, I'm having my snack during that time. So I love these inserts just because you can break out your schedule and um, that works very well. Okay, then I have this list of things I wanted to do during a pandemic. Had some ideas for Malachi, some date night ideas. I hope you guys can see that date night ideas here so i have them broken out by home things we can do in the house in town and out of town all right and then i think i had some spots some restaurants that i wanted to try out so i have that there all right and then we get to goals all right so this is a new insert that literally just came out this week so i haven't filled it in yet but I'm going to start doing some life area goal planning every single month. So you see with this insert, you have your life areas. So family and friends, career and business, spirituality, financial, health and fitness, personal development, um, fun and hobbies, romance, self-care and home. Then you have three goals that you can write down every single month for that particular life area. And then you can have it, you know, put it if it's in progress or if it's done. So I'm going to start implementing this and do this every single month. And then on the back you have some notes there so I have two sets of those in here and then this was my word of the year for last year I didn't get rid of it yet on the back I have how I can achieve balance I also have some affirmations here which I'm constantly adding to and pulling from to add to my weekly spread just for a little inspiration and then I printed this off of Pinterest I think it's from day designer and it is 50 best practices for living a well-designed life so I just keep this in here. I just have had this in here for years and I just love referencing it. And so I just keep it in here. I just fold it in half and keep it tucked right in here in the goals section. All right, then I have my reading log of books that I wanna read or that I am currently reading now and podcasts as well. I put if it's a book here and then I put if it's audible or a podcast so that way I know. All right, and then just some random fill paper here. I was working on how to become a minimalist, y'all. I really do want to become more of a minimalist. I really do. It's hard for me, though. And so I want to um, I keep that in there so I can add to it and hopefully start implementing some of those things. Then this is just random things I wanted to order for myself. A little clip here as well. And then we get to the list section. You guys know I love making lists. And I just keep random lists in here because I have a whole list notebook, y'all. That's how much I love making lists. So we are camping family and we try to go at least once or twice a year. So I have a list here of all the things that we need to bring. These are some things that we can do in the Atlanta area. Front and back, so there's a lot to do here. Some things to do in the springtime. And then these are some campgrounds. And then this is my color code key. I'm not sure why I had it here, but just color code key. And then this is the last section, a note section. In the back section um, where it says notes, I just keep my fill paper. And this is where I come to pull from if I need some additional fill paper to replace other sections. I just come here and it has all the fill paper that I need. All right, and I don't wanna make it too bulky so I don't have too much back here, all right? These are our frosted inserts with no tab, and these are great for people to section things off and then also adding pin loops. As you can see, I have a gray pin loop here with my favorite highlighter, which is available at Fancy Plants Co. These are amazing, I love them. As you can see, if I remove the top, it's just your typical highlighter. And um, I love mild liners too, which we do have available in our shop, but I just really, really love this. And I love the way it looks on my planner as well. And at the top, I have a Sharpie because this is what I use for our transparent sticky notes. We do have another pen in our shop that is a, a that is easy to use with the transparent sticky notes, but I love just a, a Sharpie. It's the best. And so this is the fine tip Sharpie. These are available in our shop as well as um, the regular Sharpies, but these are just perfect to be able to, uh oh, can y'all see that? to be able to um, do your um, transparent sticky notes because y'all know transparent sticky notes are very tricky 
in terms of being able to write on them because they'll smudge and so that's why i found that a sharpie like this is just the best option okay and with these little um, inserts here you're able to stick various things to it so that way you can have as many pins as you need so as you can see i have the highlighter here at the bottom and then i have that at the top and then i have my regular pin these are available at fancy plans co also they're gorgeous look at how pretty they are Okay, so this is my favorite pin right now, and um, it flows with my planner setup. So that's one of the reasons why I chose it. We also have a pin loop in the back of the planner. So I have three pins here just because I love pins and I need them for different reasons. And so I like to have them all in my planner. And as you can see, it still closes very easily with all three pins here in the planner. Okay, so y'all. That is my planner in a nutshell. Also, I don't have anything in the back pockets, but you totally could fit some things back here as well. Um, and so I wanted it to be as least amount of bulk as possible. And as you can see, she is still a chunkster. She is, but she's perfection. Like this is probably my most favorite setup that I've ever had just because she's been working so well for me and I've been really enjoying planning. I love how neutral it is, how clean it looks. And it's just, it's just awesome. So I had totally have planner piece right now and I hope you guys do as well. And so that is my planner, you guys. That is everything all summed up into one. I've shared with you guys every single thing that's contained here, how I use things and how things are working for me now. So this is my main catch all planner. And I do have a menu planner, which I pull inserts out of here, put in there. I have a budget planner, same thing. Insert shuffle back and forth between that. Um, I do have a list planner. Planner. It's not really a planner. It's just a notebook. Um, I have a fitness planner. And so I technically have those other planners, but I don't use them on a database, daily basis. Excuse me. I only use them to pull inserts out, to replenish these sections and put inserts in there from here to make the planner less bulky and to transition those out to get the new month in. So that is my planner, y'all. I really hope you enjoy this. You guys seem to really love flip throughs and I do too because I get so much inspiration from you all and seeing your setup and that helps me with my setup and just seeing what's working for you and trying new things in my setup to see if it could work for me as well. So again, everything that you guys saw here is available on Fancy Plants Co. from the leather cover to the pins, to the highlighter to everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You got a little inspiration from it. You found something that maybe you wanna implement in your system, which means you'll give me a thumbs up on this video you'll consider subscribing to my channel and you'll come back by and catch another video in which case i'll see you guys then